going on everybody it's dj welcome back to the channel here's everything that you need to know about what's going on in the world of farming simulator right now every topic that we talk about today can be found in the description in the timestamp so check those out and watch whatever you want whenever you want but today's gonna be a busy day so we gotta get right into it starting off today with the testing list and we're back to a massive list there's a few neat things in pc testing still though including third person we got corn dry it's more rea mods like center gravity and implements the real shining story today though is the console testing list which might be the longest console testing list that we've seen in a long time uh we've got a Kloss axion 800 we got the production pack and of course the rumbler van is back that's not all because we also have a few massive ferguson's in testing new holland sever series finally back at testing and i think like the third or fourth tenth shouldn't be allowed but it is what it is uh, there's also a few other mods uh that are on the list let's say a few there's probably a hundred other mods on the list but these are just the ones that stand out to me check the description for a link to the testing list so you can see everything that's on it when all that being said we still have 850 mods sitting waiting to be tested and the current average waiting time newly spent in mods 16 work days which is around march 31st speaking of mods one mod dropped very early this morning the lizard s101 i'm pretty sure this mod was released a few weeks ago but i remember not being able to actually get it to download on the xbox so if you've been looking for a tractor that's gonna push things around or tractor weight rather well check this out it's out now for all platforms something else that's out now is the free content update number nine for farming simulator 20 the mobile version of farm sim this update comes complete with two new pieces of equipment as well as a few bug fixes and game optimizations new to the series is the cavernalin ixter b18 and the iextract t4 to be able to buy these new pieces of equipment make sure you update your farming simulator 22 game on your ios android or nintendo switch and they'll be ready for you to use. Just remember that like with every game update, these pieces are just in the store available to use. They are not free. One thing that is free, though, is the Farming Simulator podcast, which Giants recorded live on Twitch yesterday, hosted by Lars, Chucky, and Kerman. They talked about what we can expect from the new DLC being released and more DLCs coming down the road, saying that the first one may not be the most exciting or have the most equipment that we've ever seen, but they all agreed on one thing, and I found this very interesting. They say that there's some massive stuff coming with future DLCs, and they will be well worth it. So keep an eye on for those. I'm really excited to see what we could be getting. They also talked a little bit about precision farming, but didn't give any other information we didn't already have, so we won't worry about re reviewing that. And of course, they answered a lot of questions from the community so if you'd like to see the replay of the entire thing check out the podcast linked below on twitch all right let's make our way into modern news starting off with some semi trucks both of which are actually max funny enough here you can see the max superliner x2 from 82 studio we knew that he was working on a mac we just weren't quite sure which one this is not the x2 that you're familiar with with the phoenix but it's just the name itself David will be doing a few special live streams today and tomorrow. Never streams on Thursdays, but it will be tomorrow since he's heading out on vacation on Friday. As am I. Hey, David, I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> if you'd like to see this truck in action, check out 82 Studio on YouTube and tell them DJ sent you. The next one is the Mac RS700L from BC Bueller Farm, shown here with different color configurations that you can do with the truck. One I've seen, it does look like it's going to be available in a semi truck version and in this dumper version you can see here. I'm really loving the red and white. And when I run this on my farm, which I am 100% going to be doing, by the way, I'm going to run this option. They're not done yet, though, but I'll keep you guys updated on the progress as they move forward. Next up, let's take a look at the International 86 series from Julian F. Modding. He says that the mod is with Giants right now, waiting testing for all platforms. However, as you know, waiting time is quite long right now. So he has decided to release the mod for PC players over on his website, which I will link below, by the way, if you guys want to check it out. One new unique thing about this tractor is the sounds. Tired Iron Modding has helped out with it and recorded the sounds from the original tractor for the mod, which is really cool. There's even a straight pipe sound option. How cool is that? If you'd like to download it now on PC, check out the link below. And for console players, well, I'll keep you guys updated once it's on the testing list. KRKC Mining also has a mod with Giants waiting, the Massey Ferguson 5700 12 by 12 version. Don't know what that means, but they do say that they suspect it'll take between one to two months going back and forth with Giants before it is released for all platforms, by the way. Uh, that's going to be like April or May. Such a long time for mods, but I guess it is the way it is right now. I hate it too, don't worry. The mod will be available with a certain set of features to start with, which they don't say what they were, and say that they will be expanding further in a future update, which they didn't say what that would be either. Either way, Massey Ferguson is on its way. But they're not the only ones with mods with Giants. Steve's Mods has resubmitted his Case Puma 240 CBX Power Drive for all platforms. 
We've been talking about this mod for what seems like a few years now because of the rules of Farming Simulator 19. Wasn't able to come out, but we did use it. We did talk about it, and it's great to see it back with Giants. Hopefully, I can share this with you guys soon. Oh, yeah, he's also made a few collectibles in a single stack right here. As you can see, he says that uh, finding the collectibles on his new map is going to be a little bit easier than other maps shown with everything on one table. Want some extra cash? Well, this is an easy way for sure. Continuing with Tractor Mods, Surfertech says that their Voucher T Series CVT is almost finished with around 10 options right now for the tractor, which ain't too bad at all, seeing most tractors only have four or five. We'll say this, it does look like the same options have been used with each picture, just swapped around a little bit. Uh, so I'm interested to see what the 10 are. They do say that they're working on the wheels right now. We'll have some more screenshots for you soon. More tractor mods, you say? All right, well, let's take a look at this GNU series, primarily the 800 model from FS Modding, formerly Hemerson Modding. You may know them as that name as well. Here you can see some pretty high quality picks. Really good job on these, Sean, with the mod in the field getting some work done plowing. Unfortunately, they haven't posted any information, literally at all. Just get some screenshots that's about it i'll let you guys know once we get some more information or screenshots or when it gets closer i don't know okay one more tractor let's do one more the old cbt tractor from kataka Amiga modding this was a mod that we got to see a farming simulator 19 for all platforms and it was beautiful and it's coming back I know that they worked really hard on this one. It's gonna make a lot of players very happy that like using older tractors. One more thing, they also say that also on Mod Hub soon will be their Chevy D20 mod. This is the Blizzard D20 on consoles. They do say that both of them should be coming around the same time. Very cool. All right, we got some quick information to throw at you guys real fast. So let's start with some equipment stuff. All right, here we got the wheelbarrow from EY Modding. They say that this mod is ready to be submitted to Giants for testing. From JA Modding, he says that his John Deere 2410 plow is about 95% completed. Then it'll be ready for all platforms there. Hispano Modding has started work on a new low loader, the Gow Trailer, European version. And RNL Modding has their Via NL28 trailer in game, ready to go, also coming with the 29 trailer. They're going to be branded as Crescetto for consoles. Ending out the day with some mapper news. Let's start with FDR Logging, who say that their update 1.0.4, 1.04, is going to be here on Friday, March 11th. That's in a few days. Which is going to feature new tracks for their equipment, new grapples, and lots of improvements overall to all of the mods. Tomorrow, we should see an updated video showing off the patch notes for this. So I'll try and get that shared as soon as it drops. And lastly today, let's talk about the next update to Comsden Farm for all platforms. Not the last update, the next one. This version is more of an upgrade than farming or the version 1.1 was and will require a new game save due to the structure of the map being changed with adding new fruits. Yep, we're getting new fruits with it. And also because the chicken pen and the fences are finally being separated. Uh, this should have never been a thing and it took long enough to get fixed. Anyway, here's the change log as it stands right now for version 1.2. Brand new fruit, Linseed, custom UK Geo with Linseed been added. That has been created by Disturbed. A couple new and approved ground textures from Bullet Bill. Ayo! Added stars and constellations at night, kind of like uh, Gran Turismo 7. I love that. They've also got gate animations, which have now been moved to the map, which is where they should have been the entire time. In multiplayer, all players can now open the gates and doors. Again, I uh, refer to my future, uh, previous comments. They fixed an issue on dedicated servers where doors and gates were out of line. That one, I don't know. Uh, they've also got collisions that have been scaled and improved from EN898. A few collisions have been fixed. Collisions in the bunkers have been removed. All productions can now be sold at some sell points. Brand new HD weed texture has been added to the map. you got cow parsley and nettles. They also have placeables, which are now part with the land. So you buy the land, you get the placeables on it. Chicken pasture can now be sold without the gates. Refer to my previous comments, and they fixed junk in the barns and the horse items not being removed since Game Patch 1.3. Remember that Oxy has said, at least a year ago he said this, that he plans on keeping his maps updated throughout the entire lifespan of Farming Simulator 22. So this is probably only the beginning for Comstant Farm. Unfortunately, my series on the map is almost completed and will likely finish that series up on version one before updating. Just like I finished up these news videos of version 1.3.4.5.6, see, I can count. You just gotta put a point in the middle. Well, when I write it down and I read from what I wrote, I can count. The sad part is I scripted this entire outro. I don't know if that's smart or just making fun of myself in past, present, and future when I have to edit this. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop typing now. Just like every episode of 5 Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description. Look, I wrote that whole thing. I'm an idiot. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is gonna be released. And if I didn't talk about something you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for future news and mod updates and all kinds of cool stuff and everything new that you need to know about going on Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss future videos here on the channel. I'll be Ted. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you. Close, it's almost vacation time. Let's go!